All right, Sam, it's your turn. The wolves, they snarl at you. Hungry for your blood and fueled with pack tactics. What do you do? I fly up. Mm. Yeah. You yeah, yeah, win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm winning. Yay. Flights, no concentration, no resource cost. It lasts as long as you want it to last. This is the strongest racial feature in the game. No racial feature in the game can compete with this. This is stronger than a third level spell called Fly. Hell, I would say this is stronger than the fifth level spell if I had to judge it. There are about 2,094 creatures in all of the published books combined. This does not include Van Richten because it's not out yet and I can't be bothered to wait. Anyways, just by flying up, you automatically win against 1,447 creatures. So only 647 creatures are an actual threat to you in the air. That's madness. 323 are grounded creatures that can attack you with range, be it through spells, bows, spears, and what have you. The other 294 have flights. The last 30, I think they come from Candlekeep. 5e tools is a little wonky, but anyways. This is an absolute win for the player. Even in dungeons, how tall does the ceiling need to be for you to take advantage of this? 15 to 20 feet at minimum just to be safe from majority of encounters? In modules, it's incredibly common to see 20-foot ceilings. Look at this cave I'm in. You can totally fly in here. Another thing is you have tons of utility, and you know that very well without me telling you in detail. Even your AC isn't a problem. With casting, you can easily stack mage armor and shield spell. If they target you with range, use dodge action and easily move away. It's not like you trigger any opportunity attacks. All of this is just win, win, win. You viewers are smart. You can pick up the pieces from here, looking at the numbers and looking at the modules. I've concluded there is no way anyone in Wizard of the Coast cared about the balance aspect when creating flying races to players to begin with. The only reason why they made it happen is because either they wanted to do it for fun or there was a demand for it. Maybe that's obvious, but I couldn't find anyone making that claim, so I will. They just made it without considering the balance. If you're playing a flying race or you know someone who's playing one at a table and the table itself is fine with it, then I'm glad. I hope the table survives for months. Maybe it already has. That's fantastic. I want you to have fun with this. But let's face the facts. Automatically countering against more than half of all the books combined with no resource cost is utter madness. And people pretend it's not a problem. We shouldn't be treating D&D like it's a Bethesda product where the DM has to fix everything rather than Wizard of the Coast. You get the point, hopefully. Bye.